How are you doing guys? This is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 15 Team of the Week predictions. Welcome back guys and today we'll be predicting the Team of the Week number 10 which should be released on the 19th of November and this week's Team of the Week was quite hard um, compared to other Team of the Weeks due to the fact it was international break. That means none of the major leagues were playing. Obviously there was the Europa qualifiers, um, the African Cup of Nation qualifiers and also some minor leagues um, available as well to pick players from. So normally the International Team of the Week um, is fairly very hard to predict and get a very decent percentage in terms of um, the correct which should come out on the Wednesday uh, but we're going to get straight into the starting 11 and straight into the first player the goalkeeper Lau Platicio the sporting keeper played for Portugal and um, picked up six saves a clean sheet in his team's 1-0 victory over Armenia I think that's the same team as Mikatelian plays for and goalkeepers were quite hard to find this week and um, I decided just to give it to him just because he had a very very good solid performance and um, probably made sure his team got the full three points. Moving on to the defence, we have this player here, Paul Pat, plays for Romania and uh, picked up two goals, a clean sheet in his team's 2-0 victory over Northern Ireland. Default as a centre-back in the game, but um, I believe he played out in that right-back position, so he may see him in the chains of position. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Kamal Glik, and this is the one of two Polish players we got in the team. Uh, Poland came against Georgia, picking up the 4-0 victory there, and uh, this guy picked up a goal, a an assist and a clean sheet in that 4-0 victory. And from any centre-back, that's a very, very good performance indeed. Moving on to the final defender, we have this player here, um, Arvard Nordveit. Uh, plays for Norway, um, plays for Borussia Morte Gablak in the Bundesliga. No, sorry, he doesn't. I'm not too sure what club he actually plays for, but um, I think it's Dor um, Borussia Morte Gablak in the Bundesliga. Uh, but um, this guy picked up a goal and a clean sheet in his team's 1-0 victory over um, Azerbaijan. And... Um, this guy is normally default as a CDM, so he's going to be moved back into the centre-back position where he played on that game. And um, he could be a fairly cheap discard prize player to have in the Bundesliga. Moving into the midfield, we're going to have the start CDM here, second Polish player in the team, um, Kiewiewak. I'm not too sure he pronounced that name at all, uh, but um, he played in that game, picked up a goal and an assist and clean sheet. You could argue it was a clean sheet playing in the CDM role. Um, it's up to you what you guys think about that, uh, but um, still a very, very good performance, and I was kind of missing players in the midfield. I couldn't really find too many, and uh, that's the reason I went for this guy. Moving on to the next, we have this player here, Kuka, um, plays for Savannah. I do believe and um, he picked up a goal um, and a clean sheet again you could argue playing in the CDM role maybe you could give him a clean sheet um, in his team's 2-0 victory over Macedonia again the midfield was very very tricky to find players to put into the team moving on to the next we have this player here Shaquille the Switzerland player commonly known to be playing for Bayern and he had a fantastic uh, week this time and um, played in the cam position which should be very very nice indeed maybe moving up to a strike and we could have a very very good dominant striker in the Bundesliga for maybe a bit cheap amount of coins compared to some of the other ones but um, this guy picked up two goals and an assist in his team's 4-0 victory over Lithuania there also Dermic another Bundesliga player playing up top came off the bench I think and uh, had another good game as well so we could see him in the team as well moving on to the next we have this player here Isco um, the Spanish man played out on the left wing um, Spain came up against Belarus, ended up winning 3-0, Isco scoring a beauty of a finesse shot there, very, very good goal indeed, and I believe he picked up a goal and man of the match award in that game, uh, very, very good performance and a fantastic goal indeed, guys, and uh, we could be seeing him in that left mid position, unfortunately, he is a left mid, he'd probably be a lot stronger as a left um, or a cam or something like that, but maybe even stronger, maybe you could play him as the left forward or something in that strike role, picking up 7 cam or something, I'm not too sure on that one, uh, but um, you've also got the likes of Juan Fran from Spain as well, I believe he had a very, very good performance in that right back position picking up a assist or a couple of assists as well as a clean sheet in that game moving on to the next player of this player here Nicholas Bentner and we have actually got three strikers in the starting 11 strikers seem to be a common theme in the international break team of the week just because um, it is quite hard to find midfielders because not a lot of stats are published and stuff like that uh, but I decided to go for Nicholas Bentner and it's kind of a surprising player to hear he's not the best of players we've known um, to see and watch but um, a player that people like to see just because of Bentner but um he did pick up two goals in his team's 3-1 victory over Serbia, so we could potentially see him picking up a brace in that game. Moving on to the next player, we have this player here, Huntelaar, the Netherlands striker. And um, again, he picked up a brace in his team's 6-0 thrashing. I'm not too sure on the team they actually thrashed, but um, you also got the likes of Robin having a very, very good performance. We may also see Robin Van Persie. Um, depending on how much money EA want, we may see Robin Van Persie in there picking up a goal and two assists, I think, in that game as well. Um, so it could be either or 
Shaw, Huntler or Van Persie. I decided to go for Huntler just because he picked up those two goals and um, I think EA were going to go for a higher rating card. Moving on to the next player of this player here, the final player of the starting 11, Danny Welbick, the Englishman up top, picking up two goals in England's 3-1 victory over Slovenia, going 1-0 down. Danny Welbeck scored two fairly solid finishes and uh, we could be seeing him in the team of the week. Looks like a fairly solid card as well. Moving on to the subs bench. We haven't got actually too bad of a subs bench. But it does start off okay. Wayne Hennessy, the Welsh keeper. Uh, picking up six saves and a clean sheet in his team's 0-0 draw over Belgium. Very, very good performance by Wales and a good performance by him. Obviously stopping the likes of Hazard, Lukaku, players like that. Some very, very threatening players for Belgium. And um, Wayne Hennessy had a very, very good game indeed. Moving on to the next player. This player here, Flans Bergmeimer. Uh, plays for Liechtenstein. I think it is I think it's Lichtenstein, it's Lichtenstein, I'm not too sure what one, um, but I think it's Lichtenstein, I'm not too sure the difference of them, there are so many nations I've never even heard of when I was doing this um, squad choosing, but um, he picked up a goal and a clean sheet in his team's 1-0 victory over Moldova. Moving on to the next player, Leon Lege, and this is one of the first players we have that didn't actually play um, in any of the national games or anything like that, actually played for Gilles in their 3-2 victory over Leighton Orient. This guy picked up two goals from a centre-back position, and um, Fairly, very solid performance by him. Two goals. Yes, they did concede two goals, but still two goals from any centre back is normally a very, very good performance. Moving on to the next player of this player here, Sean Maloney, picking up the only goal in Scotland versus the Republic of Ireland. Um, ended up winning 1-0 Scotland. Sean Maloney with a very, very good, tidy finesse shot around the keeper. And um, I believe he picked up the Man of the Match award in that game as well. I'm not too sure off the top of my head, but still, fantastic performance by him. And um, we may be seeing him in that right mid position. Moving on to the next player, we have this player here, and Enlique. Um, plays for Brisbane Raw in the A-League or the Australian League and um, this guy picked up a hat-trick as well as an assist in the left wing position normally default as a right wing and we're most likely going to be seeing him in the team of the week just because um, he had probably one of the best performances of this week so far um, in their teams I think it was a 4-1 win, win over Newcastle Jets that's right um, still a fantastic performance by him moving on to the next player we have this player here Salomon Kalu um, this is going to be our first and only player from the African Cup of Nations before performances. I did have a quick run through some of the teams and um, those players that weren't on the game um, and the rest of the performances were fairly so-so. There wasn't too many outstanding ones other than the Ivory Coast one which finished I think it was 5-1 um, in favour of Ivory Coast in against Ciola Lorraine um, and um, Kalu picked up two goals in that game. I'm not sure if he picked up any assists or anything like that. I also know Colo Torre picked up a goal as well in that game. Uh, so either of them could be in the team, but I believe Kalu could be there. And again, could be a very, very good, cheap, discard price Bundesliga striker there. And moving on to the final player of this week's Team of the Week, number 10. We have this player here, Yilmaz, the Turkish striker. And um, he picked up a brace as well in his team's 3-1 victory over Kazakhstan. I believe one of the goals was a penalty. So that may mean he is an actually seen in the Team of the Week. Um, but still... Still, two goals, fairly solid in a 3-1 victory. Like I said, we may also see Dermic, the switch striker who came on off the bench. I believe he picked up a goal and two assists, I think, off the top of my head um, in his team's 4-0 victories. Um, is it 4-0? I think it's 4-0, something like that. Um, and um, we may be seeing him in that team as well, but I wasn't too sure about that. But guys, we have a quick look at the team of the week there. And as you can see, it isn't the strongest of team of the weeks. So you've got some very, very good players. Um, I think Shakiri will probably be the most expensive. Maybe Danny Welbeck could go for a couple. Um, and Isco maybe there isn't really any outstanding players in that team of the week Hansela again maybe um, I may see like EA putting in some really really high rated players who had okay performances just to try and get people to buy more packs and make the team of the week a bit more interesting like sort of Van Persie and players like that um, and maybe some players from Germany who beat, I believe, Gibraltar 4-0. They could pop a couple in there from just to get more coins, um, get people buying a lot more packs and stuff like that. But guys, that's the Team of the Week predictions for week number 10. If I've missed any players, any players you think should have been in this week's Team of the Week, put that in the comments. Also remember to hit that like button. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to the series and go and check out other series on my channel, guys. This has been Koresh. Till next time, adios.